Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby. If you didn't know, now you know. And I'm excited. So it's currently Thursday. It's like 12.30. I just got home from class. And it is grind time to get ready for this weekend. So this weekend is NCA in Dallas, Texas. Next week it is UCA in Orlando, Florida. And I currently look like this. My nails aren't done. I am not at all competition ready. So it is grind time. I made a video like this before Indy and you guys really, really liked it. So I decided to do it again, but we're gonna spice things up a little bit and we're gonna go the extra mile. I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm gonna show you like my spray tan stuff and everything that I do to get competition ready. So we're just gonna hop right into it and get started mainly because I'm on a time crunch. So I have to hurry up and do it like right now. Step one is shower and shave my legs because you probably can't see it, but these things are not good. <laughs> so before we get into the shower, I want to talk to you guys about Function and Beauty, which is a custom shampoo and conditioner company that is literally made specifically for your hair, which let me just say that like before I got this, my ends have been like so dead. I'd wake up and my the bottom of my hair was just like in knots. As you know, if you watched my hair extension video, I'm not a fan of the color of my hair. It was super golden and brassy. So Function of Beauty reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in doing a sponsored video. And it was literally like my saving grace at that moment because I was just thinking about how much I didn't like my hair right now. And ever since I used this, I've literally been in love with my hair. So first of all, everything is completely customized between the formula, the color, even the outside of the bottle. Look how cute, it literally says my name. It is ugh, amazing. So in order to get your custom shampoo, all you do is take a really quick online quiz. It literally takes like two minutes of just like the type of hair you have, what your goals are for your hair, the scent you want for the bottle. Like you literally customize everything. So I just wanted to share with you guys like what I chose in mine. So the five goals that I chose was to reduce the brassiness, which literally after only using it once, I walked into the gym and the first thing someone said to me was like, oh my god, did you just get your hair done? It looks so blonde. And I was like, I just use a different shampoo and conditioner. And I'm so happy because I was not a fan of the Goldilocks look. So that was definitely number one goal. My other goals were to straighten it out a little bit more, to fix my split ends, because we all know with cheerleading and teasing your hair, it is not the healthiest thing for it. So you need something to kind of like replenish it and get it back together. And then my last two goals were to replenish the hair and to add a little bit of shine. And let me tell you that it has done all of that in literally just a couple uses. 10 out of 10 recommend. Literally the cutest thing ever. So obviously because I was reducing the brassiness of my hair and trying to make it a little bit more ashy blonde. Mine is purple because purple like tones blonde. That's just how it works. But you can literally customize it to any color, any scent. Mine is pineapple. It is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and free of sulfates, which I know is kind of hard to come by in shampoos, conditioners. And of course, this isn't all about me. Function of Beauty has hooked you guys up with a 20% off discount code. All of the information will be linked in the description below. Make sure you check it out. So, with that being said, let's hop into the shower, wash my hair, and shave my legs. And no, I'm not going to show you that. I'll just come find you after. All right, so I'm fresh out of the shower. My hair and my legs, both super smooth. Seriously though, my hair is like amazingly smooth. I love it and I will just sit here and do this more than I already do because I'm sure you all notice that I play with my hair constantly. It's 1.13, I have a nail appointment at two, which is like 15 minutes away, but I'm picking up jewels and we're going together. So I have like five, maybe 10 minutes, probably 10 minutes to do step number two, which is finish packing. I already packed my suitcase of like all my checked bag stuff, but now I have to pack my cheer bag of my uniform. And I also have to pack, we got cute little gifts, I'll show you in a second, that need to go in my suitcase as well. So let's do that. Look how cute it's packaged. Shout out to Soap Tay and all of Double Five Team Moms because you guys are the best. So these are so cute. So first we got Cute, super cute 005 joggers, which obviously I love because we know how much I love my sweatpants. This is super cute. 005 baseball tee, looks like that. Love that. Tank top that matches the boys, just says 005, and then the silver is like sparkly. Super cute. The super cute sports bra, which is just a Forever 21 sports bra, but the back's really cute. And then it has 005 on the front. So I gotta pack that because that's our Friday night practice outfit. That should be everything for my checked bag, I believe. 
Now for my carry-on. Oh, we also got this. So if you've kept up with Double Five this year, you know that we have a school theme. They made us little ID cards to go on our bags. I think it's the cutest thing ever. In here, I have my V-Rose, my competition shoes. My uniform is gonna go in here because we have to put in our carry-on just in case like luggage gets mixed or whatever. So I have my socks, top and suspenders, skirt, cuffs, scrunchies, and necktie. I'm gonna pack all my camera stuff, my hairbrush, my chargers, my laptop. That's what I need. Laptop, laptop charger. Oh, I need my toothbrush. That was almost bad. Check. And I think that's mostly everything besides stuff I'm still gonna use, like my camera, my hairbrush. So for now, that is gonna be everything. And what time is it? 119, I'm gonna go pick up Jules and we're gonna go to step three, which is getting our nails done. In honor of the Joe Bros announcing that they're getting back together, I think it's only appropriate to have a little Joe Bro jam out sesh. So, let's go. Joe's here. <laughs> it's so hot out. Did you hear that the Jonas Brothers are getting back together? What? Really? Wait, you didn't hear that? No. It's all over Twitter. Oh my god. They're releasing a song like tonight or tomorrow night. What? <laughs> when I was younger, me and my friend Ava, we were watching like the Teen Choice Awards. Like, what is that, Nickelodeon? Yeah. When we were watching, I guess it was the same day as like the Super Bowl, and they announced that they were like splitting up. And I went upstairs crying to my mom when she was <laughs> watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> Hey mom, I'm sorry for ruining your Super Bowl. Uh, the Jonas Brothers are in fact back together. <laughs> I'm literally calling her. Listen to this. So remember that one time me and Ava were downstairs watching like the Teen Choice Awards and the Super Bowl was going on upstairs and the Jonas Brothers split? Do you remember that? Guess what? The Jonas Brothers are getting back together. Remember I cried like <laughs> for <laughs> three days? They're getting back together. Boy bands and another one and another one and another one. We made a quick pit stop to Barnes and Noble because it's right in front of it. It's literally 1:53. We have seven minutes, but we want Starbucks, so <laughs> priorities. All right, well, Starbucks took a little bit longer than we expected. We got behind really slow people, but we're um, uh, 12 minutes late, but we made it to the nail spa. So, <laughs> step three: get nails done. All right, nails are done. You can't even see them. There we go. She got tip, and I tried to get like a white pearly chrome but to be honest it just looks like sparkles but it's okay they're so cute just not exactly what I wanted but they'll work now we're at Panera getting food because I'm hungry so we got our food and look at the size of the baguette I got so that is like half a loaf that's the size of my head and I'm gonna eat all of it <laughs> yes nails are done now the only thing I've left is to make sure I have everything packed pack up oh, I was gonna whiten my teeth today but I guess we don't have time for that whatever I did I whitened mine yesterday, so that counts. And then I leave tomorrow, and then the last step of this vlog is gonna be me getting spray tan tomorrow. Probably pick up this vlog tomorrow when I get to Dallas before I finish preparing for the weekend there. So for you guys, it'll be like one second, but for me, it'll be a whole day, so. <laughs> and a whole new state, so I'll see you in Dallas. Yeehaw. I'm in Dallas, and she had, okay, well, now I'm not recording anything. She had it ready for me to get off the plane. Thanks, mom. Okay, I look rough. We look like twins. So the last clip was frazzled, so we're just gonna do it again. But she met me at my game with Qdoba. I still didn't get to eat it yet. But we got our luggage, now we're waiting for the Uber, and then I finally get to eat, which I guess is step, what are we on? I don't even know what step we're on, but get Qdoba is definitely of how to get ready for a competition. Get Qdoba is oh. always in there because they don't have Qdoba in Miami, so. That's always like the first thing I do when I get somewhere. So that's definitely part of the plan. So, and mom time. Yeah, and then spray tan tonight's the last step. So it's now like 11.15 at night. We just got out of practice. I'm still in my practice clothes. And it is time to spray tan me. I gotta take my makeup off first, but last and final step to get ready for competition weekend is my spray tan. So this is our uh, makeshift tanning salon. We just put a little backdrop thing in the shower and that's where I get sprayed by this one. 
This isn't like a brand deal at all. I just want to show you this because this has literally saved our lives and I haven't gotten a real spray tan in years. This is what we use. It's literally just from Sally Beauty and you put it in the gun and then you just give yourself a spray tan. I don't really know how we're going to film this part because I can only wear this. I don't have any very low underwear. Yeah, I got like no clothes on. Not appropriate. So, um, I'll try to maybe get from like here up and see what I can. If not, I'll just try to update you afterwards and show you the difference. But moms... It's very easy. It's, yeah, it, what, how long have we been doing this now? Like three, four years probably? Oh, and it's more, more than that, like five right. years? Mm -hmm. And it has saved our life. I don't have to go get a spray tan. I don't have to worry about finding a good spray tan. Don't have to worry about like sweating it off at practice. And it's what, like $15? At most. Uh, yeah, so 10 out of 10 recommend in order to get tan. It develops overnight, but like even right now, I'll try to find like a decent, like there you go, can you see? It does a really good job. I also had a solid like base coat on because I've been out in the sun lately. All right, so I just let the spray tan dry and I put on clothes and I'm finally getting ready to go to bed. I have to be up super early to get ready for the competition, which I'm also filming another video, so that'll come out. I'm gonna do a get ready and Q&A with me. Get ready with me and Q&A for NCA day one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, all that jazz. Let me know what videos you want to see, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>